how's the back? How's the behind? Yeah, been better for sure. Uh, back, neck, sort of feeling it in a lot of places. Um, but it's just sort of what we're dealing with at the moment. Now I'm not a Formula One driver, George. Um, help me understand what could I, how could I experience what you're experiencing in the car? I don't know. I mean, I saw some Wally on a skateboard yesterday trying to uh, experience the, the bouncing or try and learn about the bouncing. Any idea about that? Oh, you saw me. Yeah, <laughs> was that you? It was. <laughs> No, Do you know yeah. what? It was absolutely terrifying. Okay, I don't, I don't, I didn't, I didn't. I didn't and I was see only going, and I was only going about thirty miles an hour. So okay. going at two hundred miles an hour, I can, yeah. I can just about imagine what you and Lewis are going through. And the yeah. curbs, the curbs. Yeah. Oh my goodness, you're going to have to stay off those curbs. No, I mean, I think we're clearly a team who are suffering more than the average. But even for the team suffering the least, it's it's very bad. And um, you know, going down the straight at two hundred miles an hour, the car's just smashed into the ground. Um, you know, you're seeing between anything between five and ten g of vertical load. You know, that's ten times body weight going through your, your spine, through your neck. Um, I couldn't even see the pit board at the weekend. All the, um, the letters were were blurry. My vision was sort of going a bit a bit dodgy. So this clearly is a sort of safety concern. And there's obviously a lot of mixed agendas out there from different teams, different drivers, because teams who are competitive, they clearly don't want change but every single driver at some point has come out and said how bad this has been so it's a bit of a shame to see some trying to prioritize performance over over um, driver health as such so yeah this is the piranha club though George and you know what it's like they're not all going to agree um, could this end up with the FIA technical directive working against Mercedes if they single out your car as well as some of the others for bad porpoising and make you raise your ride height, which will make you go slower on track, but might save you back. Yeah, I mean, we don't know how this is going to affect us from a performance aspect, and we're just going to have to suck it up and, and see. Um, but there's a, a greater issue at play here, and this is not just us as a team. This is Formula One as a sport this season, and something needs to change. Obviously, we've seen one new uh, implementation of a, of a regulation this weekend but I think we'd all like to hope that this is the start of something and we can continue to progress you know we've got the engineering talent and technology to be able to resolve these issues in a heartbeat um, but it's not as simple as that in the world of sport and politics